Lando double or nothing issue 2 sees Lando continue to record his Calrissian Chronicles as the Falcon arrives at Kul Groon. Lando stops his riveting story to power down all of the Falcon systems so they can fool scanners into thinking they're another piece of junk falling towards the planet. Heading towards the planet, they begin to enter the atmosphere and Christus gets worried, hoping Lando knows what he's doing. Lando of course does and reactivates the power at the last minute, gliding through the icy mountains and to the wastelands so the Empire don't find them. The team come up with a plan, leading to L3 saying she will go to the droid processing plant and Lando and Christus will find a way into the camp where Christus's father is. Lando reminds them that he is in charge and luckily his plan is exactly what the other two were planning. Once out into the wasteland, Lando and Christus begin arguing over payment and L3 suggests that they split up to look for separate entrances. Splitting up, Lando again wants to just bail and take the weapons and credits he already has, but L3 reminds reminds him of his integrity. L3 accesses an Imperial comms outpost and learns that once they were split up, Christus was actually captured and is being processed into the camp. Again, Lando says they could just leave her here, but L3 says the credits they have are insufficient to pay off the criminal Lando owes credits to. Lando again caves and says he will try and find another way into the camp. On his way through the wastelands, he comes in contact with a group of nomads, who open fire on him as soon as they see his brightly coloured shirt. Lando easily kills the three nomads, but is unhappy that one singed his fur cape. The victory isn't lasting as attack ships arrive and chase down the smuggler into the wreckage of a ship, where he finds another working attack ship, allowing him to even the odds, if only for a moment before his ship explodes. Christus tries to contact L3 from her holding cell and finds the droid is entering into the droid processing plant, which she shockingly finds out is there to destroy the droids and melt them down. L3 escapes the line as a stormtrooper gives chase, and Christus is also pulled from her cell by a trooper and taken somewhere. Lando meanwhile is dragged to the Nomad's hideout, where he is chained to a wall and confronted by the Nomad's leader, a rather small alien riding a stripped down AT-RT. Lando Double or Nothing Issue 2 was a cool continuation of Lando's misadventures. Rodney Barnes does a great job of capturing Donald Glover's Lando, which we saw in Solo, but also adding that little bit of Billy D in there. This makes him suave and cool, but also not afraid to get his hands dirty. I also love that L3 in this series has been given more to do than he she did in Solo, and she's even better in this series, and I think it's maybe because she actually has something to do, and she actually has proper dialogue with the characters and interfacing with the characters. Lando does more of his Calrissian Chronicles throughout this issue, and it makes me really want them to announce that they're doing something with that, and I think that maybe they will, maybe like a comic or a book. That'd be really cool, and I'd really like to see what they plan on doing with that, since they keep bringing it up. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.